Hello. In this video we're going to take a quick look at converting units of measurement and we're going to look at converting units of weight or mass. So that's going to be uh, grams and kilograms just here. So let's get on to an example. If we remember back to one of the previous videos on how we convert between units of length, we have millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. Now if we were talking about units of mass, for example, or weight, say weight, the base unit is the gram. So this is always the base unit column, so if we put the gram in just there, the only real conversion that we're going to have to do with grams at, at this level is to convert between grams and kilograms. And if we think back, this is the kilo column, so the kilograms would go in just there. Now the conversion factors between these two are exactly the same as they were between metres and kilometres. So drawing out a new diagram there, we're going to have grams, like so, and kilograms, remember, goes to the right. And if we think back, the conversion factor between the grams and the kilogram column are 2 divided by 1,000 on top, and at the bottom we're going to get from there to there, we're going to times by a thousand. So it's just plugging your units for weight into a diagram that looks very similar to the uh, one for units of length. So we'll get straight on to an example. I'll leave that diagram up there so we can see what we're doing to convert. Now if we were to say we had 30 kilograms and we want to convert that into grams. We have a look at what we've got to start with. Right, we've got kilograms and we want to get two grams, so we're going to follow that arrow just there, which is to times by a thousand. So we're going to take our 30 and we're going to times it by a thousand, and that's going to give us 30,000. And that there is our answer. Simple as that. 30 kilograms is 30,000 grams. Straight into another example then. Let's say we had 4,000. No, let's say we have 450,000 grams. Let's make the numbers a little bit bigger. Method's exactly the same. We've got 450,000 grams, and we want to convert that into kilograms. So we have grams to start with, and we want to get to kilograms. So we're going to follow that arrow. We're going to do divide it by 1,000. So 450,000 divided by 1,000, we would get 400. 50. So that there is our answer. 450,000 grams is the same as 450 kilograms. And it's as simple as that. So if you remember this diagram, you can draw that out, and each time it will tell you how to get from one to the other. 